It is Tuesday, we are in Pretoria and we are on our way to Marupeng. Let's go. Um, oh yeah. We are on our way to Maru, Maru. Let me just get out of this fast thing because I can see this guy speeding up here behind. I don't know, the roads in Johannesburg are always so busy. It's like people are in a rush 24 7. Uh, it's never like this in Cape Town. But yeah, we are on our way to this place called Marupeng. What is it, a museum or a cave it's kind of thing? One of the science the fair kind of like museums, yeah. Yes, yeah, science! I haven't like shot a video for TVG in like a long time. That's because I've been at base uh, for the past two months and I didn't have like any motivation to shoot anything at base because there's really nothing on that mountain that we had. But yes, we're gonna go get this uh Marupeng, it's such a weird name. Isn't it like other name for it? Or is it like Marupeng like the Kango Caves? Kango Caves is it Otsuro? <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah. We found this place in, in uh Johannesburg. It was it Pretoria or Johannesburg? Yeah, it's in Pretoria, Pretoria. Village Road or Village Street. Village. Oh yeah, but it's like Clo Street actually. For those Cape Townians you know Clo Street representing the hometown. Yeah, ask Queen. <laughs> Marupeng is it the cave and museum or what? Yeah, Marupeng museum. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Good day. Thank you. Marupeng, let's go. <laughs> Marupeng, let's go. <laughs> Doesn't religion state that uh, like man didn't evolve from homo or whatever? Oh well, well, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. <laughs> um, yeah, we got the ticket. You can just start this side for some few seconds. Okay, cool. When you're done, you go and make all the things. Thank you so much, man. Sure, man. Cheers, man. What are these bottles? I think this is like the first bottles. Created by man. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should shoot some B-roll now. Oh, well, let's get to some B-roll. Probably represents, I don't know, probably wind. 
But there's no wind. Student who did all the sciencey things. Oh, yeah. Those of you guys with life science, continental drift is when continents drift apart from each other. And according to science, I think we drift at a space of 1.72 right centimeters a year. If I remember my life science correctly, thank you, Miss Van Roy. Look at that. Very long, like over there. I don't want to sound racist or anything, but why do you have a little colored boy over there in the picture with the evolutions of apes? I'm not being racist or anything, just as a color that, that stands out to me, you know? I gotta ask questions like this. You put your hands in the end, then you feel the different thing. These things are not coming against me. What is these things? Seems like my science skills aren't that far off point. Thank you very much. Is this a little gene molecule? DNA molecule. Hmm? Congratulations, you are having it. I didn't even see that. Wow. Are you okay? No, I don't think you're supposed to stand in there. I think that's all things just about walking. These are different joints. Yeah. Oh my goodness, feel this. So this is what your spine would feel like. Oh, so what are these? Joints. This what is probably this? like your elbow joint. Oh, this is your elbow joint. Huh? And that's your hip joint. And this one? It's supposed to be your vertebrae, so your spine. It feels so this weird. This I feel like if the bone was actually out of its skin. And that's what? this. I don't know how many of you people believe in these things. I'm not uh, really believing in evolution. Do you yes. believe in evolution? Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, wait, there's scientific evidence. Hmm? 
I believe in it. You believe in the whole evolutionist yes. theory? Yes. So what, Look at all what the do you have to say evidence. about God in those things? Hmm? What do you have to say about God in all those things? I don't know how he puts it, but hmm? he does somewhere. He does somewhere, Miss Catholic Lady? He created the earth and then everything <laughs> From my point of view, I feel like, look, if obviously science is always going to disprove everything that the Bible says because science ignores the fact of belief. So maybe, just maybe, if you were scientific enough, you keep putting me off my. I'm trying to be, <laughs> trying to be like. It's just a minute You were saying something of science tries to disprove. Oh, 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 oh yes. <laughs> Our belief is like a, like, like, a, like a sort of energy that cannot be proven by uh, scientists, you know, like we have different energies, the energy of love, the energy of, yeah, like belief seems like something erratic or irrational, and that's why science kind of disproves it, I don't know if I'm just talking a lot of nonsense right now. What are the chicken scissors? Are these the actual rock specimens? We said, did it's someone break this? Made, did someone break this or is it supposed to be like that? Looks like someone broke it. Are these the actual rock specimens? Uh, what? Those, those ones. Probably they came from the cave here. Uh, hmm? The vehicles and things. Oh, well, let's get. I'm gonna run around the fire. Isn't that like some sort of voodoo shit? Running around fire and thing. How do you feel? <laughs> Are you supposed to listen? What are you doing? You can't blow your head. That's not like a old century head dryer, man. This is me not listening. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. What is this supposed to be? Am I doing it right? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Unless you want to like pump your brains up. I think up. we should probably start reading. <laughs> but there's too many words to read. Is it all the same? All these words, man. I guess it's just sounds of the ocean. Oh, this is like the end. Hmm? Oh. Come, let me ask you a question, see if you know the answer. Alright. How likely are women to have twins or triplets? Repeat that question. How likely are women to have twins or triplets? How likely are women to have twins or triplets? Well, I don't know anyone with, tw with triplets. So I'd say women are more likely to get twins than triplets, right? Uh, I think you have to give like a, the same percentage or like a ratio. ratio. Well, I'd say for triplets, Maybe triplets, maybe like one in every 50 women would be like give birth to triplets. I mean, let's and then twins, maybe like one in every 25. I don't know. One what in it? every 25? Oh, yeah. That's for twins now. Twins are good naturally. One in every 80 to 90 births, so it's more rare. Damn it. And the triplets is, is more of more. And more triplets, rare. one in every 200 to 300. What is the world's smallest country? World's smallest country. Uh, I'd say Chad. Vatican City. Vatican City. Is that significant? What is this one? Oh, they give you options. What does it say? In night? Oh, definitely New York, man. London? Yeah, London. we get it! <laughs> <laughs> if they didn't give us options, I wouldn't have known. Hmm? We're waiting for your victory dance. Whoa! <laughs> How many children does the average woman have? Three? 
How many children does it average in a minute? I'd say two. Two to six children. Twenty-six children. What the hell? It's I remember middle lady who got twenty-six children. Two point six children. Two point six. So How do you have a point six? Well, I'm right, I guess. What is a point six of a child? When did modern humans populate the earth? I'm West African. Oh, you're supposed to guess what they are. Oh, that is Filipino. I don't think they'll be that specific. East Asian. Ah, well, that's. He looks kind of like. This is. Uh, North America. Um. No. Mexico, South America, South America. Central. <laughs> oh, screw you. This one is definitely the least. Yes. Yeah. This is definitely uh, yeah. European. This is like European man. European. West European. This one is Asian. He looks like Mongolian or something. Yeah, like Central Asia, like North Asia, South. Wow. <laughs> <There's more. laughs> hey, you get one more guess. <laughs> what is this like the first cinema? <laughs> yes, get it, get it, get it. The world loves watching from the eye. That's so wrong. You guys should definitely check out the Marvel Bank, man. Yo, like it's, it's, it's really educational in a sense that. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to learn, it's really educational. If you don't want to learn, you can make good videos here. Let's go! An exhibition is called Long Walk to Freedom. I don't know, it's a bunch of statues of probably the activists and the freedom fighters during the apartheid era. Oh, wait, I think it's like in a chronological order. No? Yeah, as you can see, because Mandela is right in front, and I suppose he was like one of the last freedom fighters. <laughs> so, yeah, these are cool. What do you think this is? This, what? This is mm, it's not brass. Wow. I don't know. No, any of you guys know the texture of this metal? Just leave it like in the comment section below. Massive. Oh, yeah. Gani. Yo. How do you pronounce this name? Kingigani. Casa in. Is a. Zakoma. As in Zakoma. Yeah, Shaka. Where? Is the Shaka Zilla? Oh, is this a small? King Shaka. Do you think we should do another B roll segment of this? B roll time!